Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to change the color of rows per group in SSRS report. We'll learn how to create a tabular report, then we'll convert that to a group report, and then we'll be using a running value function with count distinct. And that will give us some unique values, and we will use those values with the if function to check the expressions. And if those expressions will be true, we'll give some different color, and if they will be false, we'll be setting a different background color. Now let's go to the SSMS and take a look on our query. Here is my query that is returning me some records and one of the column is called the region. This is the column I will be using the group by. Now go to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools and the SSRS project is already open. Now you can go ahead and create a shared data source or later you can create embedded data source in your report. In my case I have sales. Uh, share data source that's pointing to the sales database so I can use that go to reports right click add new item and select the report so this is going to be create a uh, empty report for us uh, and we can call this one a group color add click on the data sources here and then uh, uh, add data source uh, now we can create the embedded as I told uh, and uh, here I'm going to use uh, the shared one so we can call this a DS sales and uh, select uh, the shared one here Just hit OK next part uh, create a data set uh, so data set is a result set uh, or the records returned by your query so that can be a simple uh, select query or a store procedure or function so we call this one D set uh, sale total and uh, this part we will be using a uh, data source here and paste your query and uh, hit OK. Now let's uh, bring that table here and then uh, add few of the fields. Bring a uh, product name, region as well. I would like to see the region and uh, that's it. Our report is uh, pretty much ready and uh, now let's change the color of this uh, header and make this one bold so we can see a fancy report looks good now preview the report as we can see that the region and all these records are detailed records so we, we, we need to create a group here so we can go ahead and create a group here so right click here and say add group and a parent group uh, you can also create a, a group from here you can always drag your column here and that will create a, a group now it's your choice whatever you like and you can see that the region group is created now the records are coming according to the region here I can leave this part as it is I want to show you a few things so let's go to the uh, right side of this one and add a new column on the right and here I will be writing some expressions and once I have those values I will show you how I can use them to change the color by the uh, by the group so let's go ahead and create sorry right click here go to expression and I will be using running a value function here by using the running value function I want to generate a, a, a distinct number for each of the group so that's uh, once I have that one then I will take the mod of that one and uh, compare those values and say okay if the mod is 0 or 1 then I can uh, just uh, change the color so here we will be saying first of all I will be saying uh, in the aggregate function we have running value in the running value I have to provide uh, expression as object so I will be using a field uh, I will be using a um, region field here and then I will here you can take the sum count and all that uh, in my case I want to say distinct count that's what I want to take so I have distinct uh, where I make a mistake why I don't uh, have distinct count distinct okay maybe count distinct sorry okay yeah it is count distinct and then scope as a string so our scope is going to be nothing or the data set so we can go ahead and uh, put double quotes and write the data set if uh, we wanna uh, this is the only data set we have it we can go ahead and use the nothing so this will be on the entire data uh, set so let's go ahead and now preview our report and uh, as you can see that see it is giving us a distinct counter so very for very first uh, 
uh, value Asia it is returning us 1 and then for all the second value that's Europe it is returning us uh, 2 and then uh, it is returning us uh, 3 now think about it if I will uh, take the mod of this uh, value mod by 2 and say okay if uh, mod of 2 is equal to 0 let's say in 2 divided by 2 is equal to 0 and then change the color if mod is uh, equal to 1 then uh, um, you know give us uh, some different color so I can you go ahead and uh, use that now so leave this my value here now select the entire detail go press F4 and then let's go ahead and go to the background color property and uh, expressions and here we will be using pretty much the same thing we'll say if uh, is equal to I I F and inside that we'll use running value the same expressions what we have written already so let me take that one running value and we'll say okay on which field uh, region let me select the region and then we'll say count distinct uh, and uh, by nothing that's our data set level and uh, we'll say mod okay two and then uh, we'll say equal one if that's true what this I, I if is going to do it is going to check this uh, expression and say okay if that is true what you want me to do we want to do green so that's the color we want and uh, then the next part is okay if we, it's not true this first expression what is the uh, returned uh, the mod of 2 is not equal to 1 what you want to do I want to say okay give me gray so in that case uh, let's get the gray color and that's how our expression uh, would be so we are checking uh, the value so once we have the value as as you guys can already see like we have get one all the way for all the Asia we get two for the Europe and the three for North America because we are getting distinct counter and if I divide uh, with two so I, once I will have a reminder one I want the green color otherwise I want the gray color so this looks good and uh, now you can see that uh, wherever we had uh, green uh, sorry uh, uh, the mod was uh, equal to 1 and uh, uh, the value uh, and we said that uh, value whatever the value that's the value and then we said mod of 2 is not equal to 0 though so that's where we are getting a green and where it is a 0 then we are getting a 2 so that once again if you want to go ahead and take a look of one more time let's go to expressions and let me show you expressions I'm sorry right here click here f4 and now you will see there's an expression right here so right click here and then go to expressions one more time and that's what we are doing so if uh, the mod is the th of this value and mod 2 is equal to 1 we are saying green otherwise gray so we can change uh, whatever we like uh, if we want to want to have a uh, uh, pink uh, we can change to the pink and uh, otherwise gray fine so that's how uh, we will be using uh, our expressions with the running value and uh, count distinct uh, and uh, taking the mod by 2 and uh, using those uh, uh, if function uh, to evaluate those expressions uh, and uh, changing the color uh, by the group. So thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys uh, in the next video.